What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. We are going to take a look at the data that you guys need to know very briefly. A look at the technicals, the Ortex data, the option chain, the typical things that we do look at. But we have to go over what came about this SEC and Citadel lawsuit that did happen today in court. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's get into this video. And we're going to run through the fast things first because the chunk of this video is going to be the SEC Citadel lawsuit. So as far as where we currently it we are up 0.66 percent so overall a good day i mean we're positive but nothing too crazy we are waiting until earnings coming on next monday that's when we're likely to see a bigger rally potentially some four share recalls that could even come about on that and as we do know adam aaron is pretty much expected to be announcing an entirely different business line on earnings or shortly after earnings i would imagine on earnings that makes the most sense and that could add a whole new valuation to amc that could just send the stock flying cause those four share recalls now let's get into the ortex data briefly 16.24 percent short interest of free float 83.05 million shares that are sold short so still very high numbers and i don't think this ortex data is actually accurate because they are saying this is going down the short interest is going down day after day after day after AMC has pretty much been selling off over the past week or so. So take this with a huge grain of salt. Now the share utilization is at 86.01%. That has went down a little bit about 2% over the past seven days, meaning there's more shares available to be sold short. Doesn't look like they're being sold short because the free flow on loan has actually went down. So that's why if you see the return shares are higher, that does not mean covered uh, shorts covering on their positions. That simply means the free flow on loan is being returned back and that's why it says return shares not covered share so that's what you guys need to know from that a brief look at the actual option chain i do have lucid pulled up my apologies go to amc and what you guys do need to know is there is elevated activity starting to form on this option chain, but this only goes to the $80 strike. So it's going to be a little bit more compressed, uh, about 7,400 for open interest at the $37 strike, 4,700, 4,500, and then 10,500. And that kind of continues until the $50 strike. And then you're looking at 10,000 right there. And then it kind of drops off after that. So definitely could see a bit of you know a gamma squeeze up to about fifty dollars per share i wouldn't expect it to happen but if we do see those fomo buyers buying into amc because obviously fomo buyers have not left the market some stocks are doing incredibly well yet again today that's when you're going to see the major rally with amc stock so that is all you guys need to know one other quick thing that is going to directly have an impact on the markets and what amc potentially is going to do is the fact that we are having a lot of big companies that are reporting earnings this week facebook apple amazon google and tesla already reported earnings so including all of these companies that's about 25 percent of the overall market cap so this is a big deal investors want to see these numbers come in at at least at expectations if not higher than expectations what i want to point out as of friday about 23 percent of s p 500 companies had reported actual results for the third quarter of these 84 percent top wall streets top to wall streets at expectations for earnings per share so uh, the first initial, you know, earnings reports we are getting 23% of the market has come in very high. So I expect these other names to come in high as well. Like I said, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, and that should give us a boost to the upside. Now, enough with the boring stuff. Let's get into Citadel Securities and SEC battle over microseconds in IEX case. And this is obviously for the D-limit order. So let's get into it. A federal judge challenged, challenged a lawyer for Citadel Securities LLC about its motives in trying to throw a new type of market order from IEX Group Inc. Uh, the stock exchange operator made famous by Flash Boys. In quotes, it's you who's going to a federal agency and saying stop a private entity from doing what they want to do, U.S. Circuit Judge Justin Walker said at a hearing in Washington on Monday after attorney Jeff Jeffrey Wall argued that the order type interferes, interferes with the natural course of the market. The order type, known as D-Limit, has a roughly 350 microsecond delay to blunt the advantage of high-frequency traders. After the Securities and Exchange Commission approved it last year, 
Citadel Securities, the electronic trading firm founded by billionaire Ken Griffin, sued the SEC. It's asking the court to send delimit back to the regulator for reconsideration and reversal. And quote, you're the one who's trying to regulate your way into a market victory, Walker said, amid sharp questioning of both sides by a three-judge panel. The hearing came as the SEC... Uh, as the SEC under Gary Gunzer weighs changes to stock market rules that could directly affect Citadel Securities business. For an example, Gensler has said the agency may ban the widespread practice of payment for order flow in which trading firms pay retail brokerages to execute their trades. The agency hasn't released a concrete proposal for such a change. IEX calls a new order type a discretionary limit or D order. It says D limit can work against high frequency traders, use of amped up computing power and fast data uh, connections and help level the playing field for others. IEX began offering the order type last October after after the SEC approved it that August. IEX itself was launched in 2016 and marketed as a uh, champion of fairness in pricing. Citadel Securities argues that the D-limit hurts investors and that the agency abdicted its statutory responsibilities. To carefully scrutinize the proposal, it said in a statement last week that the order type will ultimately detract from integrity of our markets and undermine the ability of investors to trade at the prices they see on the screen. IEX says the firm, one of the top market makers on the exchange, is no friend of the individual investor. It says Citadel, despite claiming to represent the interest of retail investors, is fighting against the SEC's well-reasoned approval of IEX innovation that is designed to safeguard all investors from predatory trading strategies, increased displayed uh, trading and improved price discovery on public exchanges. The SEC declined to comment. Quibbling over microseconds. Citadel Securities has a tough fight on its hands, Larry Tab, head of market structure research for Bloomberg Intelligence, said in an interview. The SEC has called delimit a speed bump that shouldn't harm market participants, he said. You're quibbling over 350 microseconds microseconds, which is a hard argument to make, Tab said. Firms that have voiced their support of delimit orders include Goldman Sachs Groups, Jeffrey LLC, California Public Employees Retirement System, Virtue Financial, and Vanguard Group. Uh, Citadel Securities says delimit creates unfair advantages for both IEX and the trading firms that use it. Other opponents of the new limit New order type include NASDAQ, Hudson River Trading, and FIA Principal Traders Group. Exchanges are meant to be platforms. They're meant to facilitate trading, Wall told the judges on Monday's hearing. This is an exchange, the only one that's reaching in and re repricing the quotes themselves. That's sort of a novel thing. Can't tinker. By introducing a feature that slows down a trade, IEX isn't necessarily getting the best price for the customer, Wall, Wall argued. Once an order hits the exchange, you can't tinker with it, Wall said. IEX is putting the market participant at a disadvantage by not completing the order immediately, he said. D-Limit is about IEX moving orders off of other exchanges and onto its own to increase liquidity and its overall profits, he said. Better Markets, a nonprofit group that advocates for individual investors and filed a brief in support of the SEC. SEC, says Citadel Securities is taking advantage of the system. In quotes, Citadel is fighting desperately in court to protect its ability to generate near certain profits to print money in effect through their privileged data access and sophisticating trading technology, legal director Stephen Hall said in a statement Monday. He said the SEC acted in accordance with law and its core mission as, as it put investor protection and market integrity First, regulatory process. The case is largely about regulatory practice. Citadel Securities argued in a filing that the SEC violated the Administrative Procedure Act, which sets, sets requirements for making changes to agency regulations. The firm said the SEC disregarded important data showing that the rule would hurt retail investors. In quotes, the commission filed to conduct anything remotely resembling the reasoning decision making required, it said. The SEC said in a, uh, in a filing that it can considered the extensive data in the record and comments from numerous interested parties. It defended IEX, arguing that Citadel Securities had offered no reason to disregard the government's conclusions. They seek to substitute their judgment of IEX's legitimate policy and business choices to eliminate a trading imbalance that high-frequency traders were exploiting on its market, the agency said. And that is literally all that we did get from that hearing. So nothing too crazy, but the demeanor here definitely seems like Citadel is going to lose this. Nobody, from what it looks like, nobody is really taking Citadel's side. 
on this so that is really what you guys need to know not too much else like i said we don't have another date for this it looks like citadel is losing this order will still be in effect which ultimately helps you and me get better pricing and it really helps you know well shouldn't say helps but it it takes away some of that liquidity some of that basically guarantee profits millions and millions of dollars a day that citadel and other high frequency trading firms just have at their disposal right it's basically a money printer off the backs of us they already have payment forward flow why do they have to do this as well so that is going to be all for this video if you guys got value out of it hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know in the comment sections what do you think about this whole situation what's your price target for amc let me know whatever you guys want i pretty much respond to every single comment as long as i do have the time to do so i know we all do get busy so please bear with me if i do not immediately respond but that is going to be all for this video if you guys do want to support the channel link for public link for weeble down below in the description as well as the link for the buy and sell alerts in the pinned comment if you guys want to be notified every time a trade is bought or sold in real time whether it's a day trade swing trade or long-term investment definitely check that out very inexpensive and we have been killing it over there so that's all i will see you guys in the next video